Hey guys and welcome back to Twitchy's Kitchen. No, no wait, we're not doing that anymore. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft post Uh Where today we are going to mainly be concentrating on crops. I say mainly, this is going to be one of the things we're going to do today. It's one of the other things we're going to do is defensive turrets, as I kind of teased you with last time, and anything else that happens to pop up. Uh, one of the things I have to show you is we have our first 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 crop. Uh, there's potato seeds this time. I was... This is recently been accelerated after talking to Decipher, a friend of mine, who plays a lot of the... Um is it Feed the Beast Infinity Pack or something like that that he plays? Uh, and that that he gave me this piece of beautiful, beautiful advice there. He was like, stop growing in these 3x3 three three squares. Start growing in little 2x2s. Two that way you can set up a little growth pattern like this. And then when they transfer across, imagine it was in both sides, you then just punch out the ones that are fully grown, and then you always know where you are in the cycle. When I had a great big line across, I never really knew which ones were the news and which ones were the olds, and, and where things had to go. So yeah, uh, big ups for Decipher on that. that, that's amazing. In fact, look, we can show you already, because these ca carrots are very nearly close to being 1010s. So you just take that out, and there you go. It's, it's as simple as that. The problem with this is, this is slow. I mean, like, oh my, this is slow. I want to eventually get my uh, my sugar canes and my wheat breeding together so that we can let me come in here do the barley it, see now this doesn't look like a barley uh, seed but trust me it is actually the barley seed uh, so what yeah what we want to do is the wheat and the sugar for that but there yeah, this is slow and there are there are quests to do with that this is all this water water quest line here so I think we're gonna get on with that and as I say the other thing that I wish to get on with is these defensive turrets which I think we could probably go and start doing now because I was looking at those and they seem incredibly easy to do in fact all we need is uh, I don't know let's have a look in here and do I have any spare planks knocking around I don't grab a few of these several hundred dark oak that I have small stack of redstone I'm still carrying a lot of stuff oh no and some cobble should be all we need, I believe. Let's uh, have a look up here. You can see I've already got it pre-selected. So the turret base, we actually want this sensor thing first. Uh, first off, of course, we need to make some planks. Now, I actually think I want three of these. So I'm going to take three because we have three pillars out the back. If you remember last episode, I was showing you the pillars I wanted to put stuff on. So, yeah, we was going to do that. Uh, so, of course, three of these are needed. Now, I could make three of these turrets here but we're gonna get one as oh no are we gonna get one yeah no we're gonna get one as a reward looking at this so i think i only really want to make two now these are a little bit more multi-step you can see here we got this not not the hardest thing to make but i'm only gonna make two let's get rid of these carrot seeds they might be my uh, most cutting edge but i don't i don't really care about them at the moment Oh, of course, I'm going to throw all this stuff away. <laughs> okay, and the chamber, also ridiculously easy to make. Uh, just make a couple of those, and then we should just be straight into this. Now, what's wrong? Why isn't this going to make... What have we done wrong here? That and that? Yeah, that's what that's what went wrong there. Okay, we're going to do those two. Wonderful. All right, let's uh, have a look in here and claim our reward. All right, so I'm going to go put these out, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do about those water tanks. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, over this way. So, the turrets are working quite well. Fine cobble and obsidian of these guys. Not the best, probably. In fact, I have been thinking, as you can see in here, I've put obsidian in there. Uh, maybe what I wanted to do was actually break it down in the chemical decomposer and then put the individual components in there. But I've got so much obsidian that it's really not worth it, I don't think. Uh, they do about a heart of damage each. Let's see if we can get someone else's attention. No, you're not going to come over. I like the zombies because they like they they bite the bait. If you see what I'm saying, when when you uh, when you grab their attention, they come running over. And then these guys can start having a pop. As I say, it's only a heart ago. The other thing I wanted to do... Oh, let me just show you the infrastructure I've put in place here. Oh, man, those things are loud. Uh, I have put in a whole load of... Uh, Energy conduit? Yeah, it's energy conduit. And we're powering it off of redstone block because that is one thing that I have a lot of. I also think I'm going to need to make little... Um 
What's the word I'm looking for? Towers, balustrades, battlements, some, something like that. These are gonna need building up more around so that we can put, like say, the items into the side because we, we are starting to run out of stuff now. But anyway, what I actually want to do, let's, uh, let's, let's get some kip right here. Can I get some kip right here? Is it gonna let me know are we on the half slab? I think we're on the half slab here, aren't we? Let's, let's go down and get some sleep. Oh no, I can do it right here. Okay, cool. The other thing I wanted to do was, of course, these water troughs. Now, that might be a little bit harder to do with no water on, uh, no water, no wood on me, but as always, we can come along and grab a stack of dark oak because, you know, that's the wood we have most of. And uh, I want, let's have a look in here. Is it, is it water? Do we? Yes. I want one of these, the water tanks. Now, it's just a wooden cauldron. That should be relatively easy to make. I think I'm going to make a few of them. Is this eight or seven blocks? It's seven blocks. That's okay. We'll make nine. That's a nice little three by three. And at the same time, we... Give me my book back. What are you doing? What are you doing? And at the same time, we can come in here and go, oh, what do you know? We've got a quest done. I'm going to take more of those. And... Ooh, the quarter heart. It's always hard to know what to take with those. Right, let's go and have a look and see what we can do with this. Oh, there's bad guys everywhere. Uh, let's just try and fill in with bullets. I find it's better to be shooting from the hip like this than it is trying to zoom in and do it like that. It just it doesn't seem to work as accurately. Uh, I, I don't know if this is like some psychological thing or what. Uh, okay, so we've got a little water tower here. Now, we fill this up with rain, I believe. Um, but I'm going to put some water in the bucket. Let's, let's do that a couple of times. And I should have got a couple of buckets. That probably would have been better. Okay, so now that we've done that, did I bring a workbench with me? Of course I didn't. Let's just uh, knock this out. I don't like it. It's in the way. It's in my way. Get out Get out of here. Wish I had uh, upgraded my pick by now. I know it's been episodes since I should have upgraded the pick. Unfortunately, I just don't I don't build up the XP like I would expect to. Uh, I should really probably go and find, like, a, I'm going to throw up in inverted commas here, safe spawning box, you know, something like uh, zombies or something like that. Something relatively easy to handle. Okay, so we've got some water in there. What is the next one? We want these uh, irrigation channels. Okay, so let's, let's have a look in here. Oh, okay, irrigation. Brilliant. So that's just a bowl. Oh dear. Well, I presume it's got like super specific. Uh, we wouldn't want it like making an actual wooden bowl, would we? Uh, I'm going to pop this over here. This is just going to be a small work area. How many of these do you reckon we need? It's probably going to be a lot, right? Uh, so now that we've got those, we can pop them on the side here. Oh yeah, beautiful. And the water should flow if there's a certain amount of water in there. Okay, I see what's going on here. Uh, so a problem I have been having with these uh, in another test world is I don't know how to make water go down because obviously we want to set this uh, this tank up on the surface so it can be rained into and stuff like that but we can't get these uh, the sprinklers going down like I can't now put this under here that that will not work that will not drop down so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about that do I not have an axe on me Ah, oh, this makes me a sad panda. I would have thought I would have had an axe. Okay, we've got just one more thing left to do before we can say we've done all these quests. Oh, I've only made two out of four. I'm sure I made more. I'm sure I made more. Let's let's just go and do some more of this. Uh, it should be nice and easy. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. Right, brilliant. And once again, quarter heart. <laughs> Gonna put these together so we can uh, nom nom at some point. I'm also gonna put some of this wood away. I think an entire stack of wood, may, uh, entire four stacks of wood, might have been a little bit much. Uh, you can see that none of my uh, tree saplings are here anymore. Where where is it? I've always got to be super aware of these guys because they just kind of like creep up on me. Uh, let's just go and stick my head over the hill because this is kind of where they normally spawn. Is just up this way. Probably something to do with that spawner over there, but also the wide open space. I don't see him. He's not even on my map. Okay, we're just going to have to ignore him for now. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. Uh, okay, the next thing. Boom. Broke myself. We have sprinklers. We need to make a sprinkler. Now, this is going to take some iron, I know, uh, have no doubt, uh, but we should be able to get loads of uh, sprink. 
Sprinklers. What are these? Spring green grass. Ooh, spring green grass. Looks nice. Looks lovely. Anyway, what? Ooh, wow. You're gonna take my bucket off me and some iron railings and an ironing. I might even have all this stuff available. Is it in here? Uh, not that one. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have all the bits that I was hoping I would. I do, however, have all this iron, so I should be able to make the things that I want to make. Man, my inventory. Not all of this is my fault. A lot of this, like these uh, wooden water tanks and stuff, should have made my original stuff out of oak instead of trying to make it all work with the dark oak. Okay, there we go. That that That's all good. We'll put that there and that there. Sprinklers! Okay, so we want the box... Uh, the bucket down there, those two here. Oh, I've forgotten already what it is exactly we were doing. Something like that. Yeah, sprinkler. Okay, and then this can go on to the bottom of the irrigation channel, I believe. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we can move it down one there. I'm wondering whether we could use this to get underground. Can we attach two sprinklers to each other? Is that a thing we're allowed to do? Oh, well, let's uh, get the iron off of this. Do I need iron? I, I don't really... Oh, look, control. Ooh, wooden, sh uh, wooden channel valve. Let's make one of those. How do we make one of those? Uh, I'm going to go with the word valve. Probably be the easiest one to spell. Okay, we need a lever. I don't know if I've got a lever. Iron ingot and wooden irrigation channel. Okay, so we've got the wooden irrigation channel. Uh, levers. We've got no cobble. Let's go make some cobble. Make some cobble? Who makes cobble? Really? Like, I'm, I've... Got cobble coming out of my wazoo nowadays, so we don't really need to. I th uh, one lever, one lever will do, right? So it was uh, one of those, one of those, and one of those. Is this the right way? It is the right way. Ha 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 ha! See, I can do stuff. I can do stuff. Uh, is that everything now? Is there anything else you wanted us to do? No. Okay, grab the iron. Do we want to grab the iron, or do we want another quarter heart? I'm gonna grab the iron. It might be useful at some point. Don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. Oh, also, you will note I have had a change of armor. This is not through choice. Uh, unfortunately, my armor just kept on getting dinked as I was like working on the turrets. People just kept people monsters just kept on coming up and giving me a little love tap or sending me their their arrows, trying to do their best Cupid impression, obviously. So um, and unfortunately, broke all my armor, which was a bit rubbish. So I had to take the armor off of the guys that were doing it. Um, yeah, I was like, hey, you break my armor, I'm going to break you and take your stuff. Because that's how we resolve things in, in the adult world, right? Pretty sure that's how we resolve things. Okay, there's that, like that, that, like that. How do we tur turn these on and off? I'm pretty sure it's something like we need another lever. Should we try it? Make another lever? You know, I'm going to just make a load of levers. Uh, yeah, okay, lever. Okay, sweet. All right, well, I am going to... Uh, Go away and have a good old play with this mechanic and see what I can do. Can I get in the water and have a bath? Uh, and see what I can do about getting the water underground. Maybe we're going to make a massive tank that just goes down to the right level. Ah, uh, before I get on with that, you'll notice that a lot of these trees have been moved around and stuff like that. And also, this one now has cocoa beans on it. That is because I put all my saplings through the tree elizer. Absolutely every single one of them. Or it should have been every single one of them anyway. Uh, red spruce, silver birch, apple oak, dark oak, and jungle sapling. All of these have gone through the forestry uh, thing. Uh, and some of them have been coming out different. So this is the jungle tree. See how it's got cocoa beans and stuff on it? I'm not sure if this dark oak has done anything different other than not not uh, spawned with any branches. The spruce looks a bit hmm, a bit lollipoppy. Uh, and I've got, got to put these other ones down. Should we do that right now? I don't have any bone or anything to, uh, to help them grow unless I've got some actually in here. No. Oh, I've got one on me. Uh, spruce and oak, I believe, were the ones... Not spruce, birch and oak were the ones that I needed. Let's just do this and go see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the spruce... Uh, not spruce. Why do I keep calling it spruce? Spruce. There we go. That's that's what we want. Uh, birch. We put the birch down. It looks pretty standard. Pretty standard. Let's pop this oak, uh, apple down and see... Oh, that's a little bit vaguely disappointing. Anyway, on with the water. 
Just when I was starting to think it never rains in this world, we've got ourselves a little bit of a rainstorm here, and I have built a bit of a water tower. I'm not too keen on the structure at the top. It still looks just a bit flat and dead. And I'd also like to uh, make these uh, these feet look a little bit better. These are just the straight carpenter's barriers at the moment, and I'm not sure what material I want to put in there. I think I'm going to keep it wood, because, you know, this kind of reminds me of the sort of the western water tanks, if you see what I'm saying, at the, uh, in the Wild West, the desert towns, things like that. You'd expect someone to come riding through on a horse. Uh, not, can't really see what's going on there. I, as you can see, I put it up three layers, and we have got a lot of water. Now, underneath, I solved the whole dropping the water issue by putting in some of this pressurised fluid conduit. The only reason it's pressurised is because I had some of this fused quartz kicking around. Is it this one? Yeah, I earned this from a quest, or I had to make it for a quest or something like that, and I didn't have the uh, quite clear glass. Uh, it all comes down, I will just quickly jump through here and let you see, comes down through the floor there. Uh, according to NEI, uh, let's just come in and cover, I can make a... Oh no, ah, oh, I read this wrong. When I first read it, I read it as um, an obsidian cover. Oh well, never mind that. Uh, because I, was, I did want a, a cover to put over that, but obviously that is not a thing that happens. The water has filled up well, and I think it's time for our first test. You can see we've got uh, one of those little control valves here. Let's take this out. Uh, no, I can't. I can't quite look in the top of it like this. Okay, so yeah, it's all shut up at the moment. So we'll come through and switch that. I'm not going to look at the sprinklers quite yet. I want to watch this fill up with water. Okay, cool. It flows through and... Boyah, maybe we've got a little too many sprinklers down here, but it looks good. It looks good and everything is good growing well wonderful okay talking of growing well there is something else i wish to produce uh in the quest book here green thorn is one we've not done and it's quite a way back uh i would like to make some cactus uh that's too many escapes there let's not try and do that now it is relatively simple to make it if i just bring it up here you can see that it's Water, which we have in abundance. In fact, I think I've actually got a load of water here. And, not there, in here, mescaline, which should be relatively easy to make. C11H17NO3. I might have to have a look in there quickly and find out whether it's a, yes, a nitrate iron. So let's make that first, and then we'll get everything else together. Uh, just because it's better if I take, like, uh, twos of things or grow in twos, we're gonna do that. Uh, the next thing is to assemble the whole molecule. Now, I kind of feel like it would be... Why do I, why do I keep going in the book? Uh, the book is the fount of all knowledge, obviously. That's, that's where I want to be going with that, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite work. Uh, and in here... Yeah, it's literally 11 carbon, 17 hydrogen. Do we have carbon or hydrogen in here? Of course we do not. I might actually just take a few of these other elements and tidy up whilst I'm here. Because if I don't do it now, when will I do it? There appears to be a raging battle going on up ahead. Oh, it must have literally just died. Uh, I could hear weapons firing and stuff like that. Oh, like that. Uh, so it's seal... C11, not C12. Oh no, I should have set this out before I started talking. C11... H17, 17, followed by the nitrate ion. Oh, mescaline. We'll take two of those, thank you very much. And then it is this in the middle. Let's put all the water in here. I can't remember quite how many it is that it needs. It is five. Okay, we can do that. Uh, like so. Okay, two cactus. Yeah, that's that's everything we want. Okay, so the reason that I've got this is I made a little bit of a realization the other t other day. Um, you remember we had a trouble with chromium. I don't even know if it's still on here. I can't remember exactly where we found it. Now I was like, where do we get chromium from? Where do we get chromium from? Of course, it's yellow. And if you remember, I was talking earlier about how I get all these plants from my grassy patch. I can't remember if it was earlier or previous episode. Um, and there we go. Loads of orange dye. So this is where we can get like all some of the weird things. There, potassium dichromate. Uh, like we've got potassium and dichromate. I don't even know if we've got potassium on the board at the moment. Yeah, we have. That's a little underwhelming. But the fact that we've got chromium uh, from that is unbelievable. Let's put that in. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so what other colours can we get from other things? I've been killing a few slimes, and we've got, like... Let's try this purple dye. Uh, the P 
pink dye might give me something. Lime dye. Let's first check in the chemist book. This is probably going to be the best way of doing things. Uh, potassium permanganate. Yeah. Mm, do we have manganese? This is this is the one. Uh, there's going to be a lot of running back and forth looking and me going no. Okay, so we're going to mix up the purple. That's good. Put that back in there. Manganese, I think, is another new one. So I'll pull this out. Pull the chrom chromium out. Uh, the green dye is nickel chloride two things we have actually already that's a little bit unfortunate but not not too much of a bother uh, and the pink dye again i should have looked we've got some white and cobalt nitrate oh yeah that that is a new one okay i'm gonna have to go look away and see where these belong in the table but i will be back in a second so I came over to uh, grab some uh, cocoa beans and I found this little beauty hiding in the in the apiary here. So we are on our way to cultivation. Uh, I'm going to just put this back in with the water princess and hopefully we will end up with the cultivated drone. Now I grabbed these uh, cocoa beans. Let's put this down here so I could find out if there is another element hidden that we should be adding to the board. So let's uh, run down underneath and find out exactly what uh, in here I think is a good shout. A little disappointing we don't actually have a new element here. That That's fine though. We've got a new colour to play with and over at the board we are I'm going to put these things in place. Uh, the first thing I need to do is just come in here and make sure that this is not outputting at the moment. Uh, active with signal. Cool, I've already turned it off. All right, good, fine. I pre-planned. Who, who would have thought about it here? Okay, so we've got some chromium to deal with. That goes in there. Welcome to the board. Yay, new elements. Woohoo! We have some... Oh, that's not where it goes. Chromium goes... Hang about, hang about... Chromium actually goes over here. Then the manganese goes here. New one on the board. Oh, yeah. And then finally, over here, we have the cobalt. Wow, that, that top line is really starting to fill up nicely now. Uh, and with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time. We're going to try and work through a few more of the things in the quest book. Uh, of course, today we did the water and the defensive towers. But yes, I will see you next time when we're going to do whatever the book says. Bye!